So CJ So Cool is getting backlash once again after he had posted up a picture of a Valentine's Day gift that Lexi had got him. Now in the caption, he was throwing shade towards um, royalty, like it ain't nothing new about him because he's always throwing shade towards royalty. But now as you can see in the caption, he goes and said, hopefully it's not too late to tell y'all about how my baby Lexi surprised me for Valentine's Day. I never been in a relationship where I got surprised. So this was an emotional experience. Not the cap. <laughs> Now, people in the comments are tired of CJ so cool, keep throwing shade towards royalty, and they was not feeling CJ not getting Lexi anything for Valentine's Day. Now, one person in the comments saying, dude always throwing sub, but what did you do for her? It seemed like she did everything for you on Valentine, plus more through your healing, and you didn't do anything for her. Valentine is for women, of course. He made it about himself. Laugh my A off. You've been throwing so much shade, dude. Just be happy. Stop throwing shade. This is why you can't see your kids now. And what did you do for her on Valentine's Day? Supposed to be you surprising her and not the other way around. CJ didn't worry to surprise you when she put your picture on their billboard where everyone could see it. Be throwing mad shade, dude. You came up with royalty, Tata, Lexi, royalty pick one. Royalty surprised you multiple times. So guys, leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about CJ So Cool. Keep throwing shots at Royalty and also let me know how y'all feel about CJ So Cool not getting Lexi anything for Valentine's Day. Now we're going to go and jump into this next tea. Now this tea is about DDG. Now y'all already know this whole situation that was going on between DDG and Ruby Rose. And it looks like Holly decided to walk away from the relationship because DDG had took his IG story. And he decided to put up a video of him spending Valentine's Day by himself. Well, hopefully DDG had learned his lesson to stop texting his ex-girlfriend after he had a little disagreement with his current, well, now ex-girlfriend. But it didn't seem too bad for Holly because she had put up a post on Twitter saying best V-Day ever. So guys, leave a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about DDG celebrating Valentine's Day all by himself. And I'll catch y'all next time with a brand new video. Bye.